Hey, it's Sunday, January 4th, 2020, and we're already under threat of World War III. Australia is having the real fire apocalypse going on, and it all just kind of feels very like the world is gonna end anytime, for real this time. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, like, I wanted to make a quick video to say hi, because I know I've been kind of been really um, absent from social media. And it's because I got a cat this week, and so I just wanted to spend some time with her for us to bond. Um, but I do want to talk to you about New Year's resolutions, because it does feel kind of pointless that just because it's a new year, it's like, you know, you can start a goal any time of year, and then you don't have to wait until January. For some reason, it just kind of feels like almost practical to have new goals start in the new year. I definitely feel as the year winds down, like I start thinking about what I'm gonna do next year and what I wanna like almost take out of my life, what I wanna put more effort into. So in this video, I just wanna talk about a few strategies for us to achieve our goals in the upcoming year and how to actually keep track of them because that's kind of the hard part for me at least. So let's get started. First of all, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that's been watching my videos lately. They've been really long, so thank you if you have been watching them. I also want to say sorry that I'm showing my microphone. Um, actually, I re-switched my apartment because like I said, I have a cat now. So I actually changed my furniture around in the apartment. And actually this helps me to like have better audio. So sorry if it looks ugly. But what I really want to talk to you about in this video is how to make sure that the goals that you're setting for yourself for the art coming year, number one, you can actually attain them and how to track them. First, let's talk about what makes goals attainable. Like, it's really easy to be really cynical about setting goals because it's like, yeah, I want to be a millionaire. But is that really going to happen? Like, in one length of time, do you mean in your lifetime? If you don't actually set up a specific plan, then it will definitely not happen. So what kind of things do we need for our goals to have? They need to be specific. They need to be attainable. You need to be able to measure them or have a deadline. You have to be passionate about them and it has to be a realistic goal. Let's talk about goals being specific. If you're somebody that wants to lose weight in the new year, saying, hey, I want to lose weight doesn't really clarify when you're going to feel like you accomplish your goal. So be specific about your goal. You want to lose five to 10 pounds or maybe you want to lose two pounds a month. Some way that you can actually track if you're succeeding with your goal if you're hitting your goal as you go throughout the year will help you actually attain that goal second you actually have to be able to measure your goal so like like I, in that last example you want to lose weight by 10 pounds maybe that might take you the whole year maybe that takes you two months but either way you're going to be able to measure your like how to move towards your goal because if you see that you're losing weight very slowly you can actually check and see which areas of your life are causing you to not lose weight as you go along and the third aspect of course is that they have to be realistic you have to be capable of attaining your goals if i say i want to become a millionaire okay but how if i already had a business that was successful and i said in the next year i want to hit a million dollars and you were selling hundred thousands of dollars the year before, then that's an attainable goal. So if you want to lose weight, an attainable goal will be something that is realistic according to your diet, your exercise, etc. etc. The fourth aspect is that I think it has to be something that you're passionate about. If I say I want to run 5k races in the next year, like I literally hate running, I'm probably not gonna attain that goal. So try to give yourself goals that have meaning to you, maybe goals and areas of your life that you're already succeeding or that you would like to succeed, and that will help you attain your goals much more easily as well. Uh, the last aspect is, of course, time. You want to be able to have an end to your goals. So maybe that can be the end of the year, or it can be a month, depending on your different goals or you know whatever length of time you want. But you want to be able to track your goals as you go along the year. One easy way that I actually learned to track my goals last year without meaning to was actually doing it in my journal. I don't know if you guys have heard of the bullet journal community online. There's a big community of arts and crafts. And I found these habit trackers 
uh, things that you can um, kind of set up in your own agenda, your own journals. And that's actually really helped me track everything I want to make sure that I'm either eating or doing throughout the year. For example, this is my tracker for the month of November 2019. And I wanted to track, am I going to martial arts in the month? How much art am I making in the month? How much fun am I having in the month? I'm gonna put it on sunscreen because it's really important to me. Am I eating my vitamins, which I'm most fail at, but I wanna see how much I'm doing it instead of just feeling like, oh, I, I do it sometimes, so I feel like, well, at least I'm trying. No, I wanna see how bad or how good I'm doing. And with this bullet journal tracker, it's really easy to adjust your behavior when you look back at the year or even just a month before and you're like, oof, like month of November, I purposely actually stopped eating my vitamins because I got sick and I wanted to reset my stomach gut and the vitamins that I eat have too much sugar and so I, I purposely stopped eating them which is not good but probably the best for my health at that moment but if I had not done it on purpose then I would need to see that I really need to work on eating my vitamins and there's like multiple different spreads that you can find online and even like pages that you can just print if you don't want to keep a journal together if you just want to keep it on on one page you want to post, post it on your wall or something like that i definitely have personal goals for the upcoming year and my deadline is well it depends it depends with every goal because my goals for the upcoming year are i want to win my fight or multiple fights if there are a lot of girls at the tournament that i'm going to go to in april so that by itself has a deadline of April. When it comes to YouTube, my goal for the next year is to make a video every week. And by the end of the year, I want to have hit a thousand subscribers. And I think that's actually a very realistic goal because I'm at 800 and... I'm at 800? I'm at 700? I don't know. But I feel like that's a realistic goal. And as I up my output, or I guess keep it consistent because I've been pretty consistent in the past two months, hopefully my channel becomes a little bit more refined in making my videos like more cohesive with one another. And in terms of painting, I want to start using my sketchbook more and I want to use my sketchbook at least once a week. And what I usually do is like make two little paintings and I think that's actually like a really sad goal but it's just like I'm not using it at all right now so I feel like it's better to give myself like a realistic goal because I'm starting from zero and because I don't always make a painting video I don't always paint every week now and so I just want to include more play into my into my into my every week into my to do because I do want to progress with my paintings as well and in that same regard I want to of course have exhibitions next year so let's say I want to have three group exhibitions and I actually want to sell five paintings uh, next next year. Um, unfortunately I didn't sell any paintings last year so I feel like that's also a realistic goal. And those are pretty much my goals for the next year, those are the things that I really care most about. I'm pretty disciplined about going to martial arts five to six times a week so that's why I'm I don't make that my goal because I'm pretty like disciplined about it. So that's really easy for me um, to be disciplined about. I wanna, I, oh I forgot, I definitely wanna meal prep every Sunday. Um, that's one of the things that I need to work on a lot more because I just wanna eat healthy food because I feel better in training when I eat healthy. So, And then I can just let myself eat whatever I want on the weekends and not feel like and, that, and know that I'm not gonna get sick. But yeah, those are my goals for the year 2020. Let me know in the comments if you have goals for um, the upcoming year or if you started working on things already before the new year started. Because like I said, we can make goals any time of the year. It doesn't really matter. Hopefully you don't let the rough start we had to the year with, you know, World War Three already trending on Twitter for like three or two days minimum. Yeah, and thank you for watching if you still are. Subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination. I'll see you next week. Thank you.